Hey everybody, welcome to Owlwood South. We're going to do a little deep dive today on gain staging, especially in Luna. I'm getting a lot of questions about how to do it and, and why to do it. And I thought we'd run through a little quick video here uh, explaining what it is and why we do it, especially in Luna. And it's actually the same in any DAW or recording system, uh, even analog systems, a hardware, mixer, console, uh, tape deck. It's got to do with signal processing and signal flow. And so a good way to think of this is if I pull up this little diagram I just made here. If we follow this along a little bit, we have a source and that can be a guitar, a microphone, drums, anything. The source will go into a mic or a line. This little triangle here is one step where a gain stage can be applied. We go from there to the console or mixer, another gain stage. We go into effects, whether they're EQ or bust out to reverbs or parallel processing, that's another gain stage, and then the main out. So the thing to think about here is, what is the level of signal coming from the source to the mic line? Is it super loud? Do I need to pad the microphone maybe? Or do I need to pull up the microphone? Then in the console, what am I doing to the signal to make it louder or softer? And how do I deal with that? And so forth. So let's go into a project I have here. This is a typical project that I've just loaded the sounds into here, and I'm gonna play it for a second. We have a simple synth part there at the beginning, but as things grow, like in this part, we get more and more signal added that is being fed to the main bus. So what do we do to gain stage this? Uh, as you see here on the mixer, I have these set up as tracks. As I, There's a hi-hat track here that's being fed into a bus that I call the hi-hat sub. That's what I call a hi-hat sub mix. That sub mix is being fed to the main. So you can think of that in terms of a source. That's the audio signal, the track coming into the channel which actually skips over the mic and line in because I have no control over that. This is like someone sending me a mix to uh, put together. So I have no control over that gain stage, but I do have control over the console and the mixer. And that's where we're gonna start with this particular track here. A better one to start with actually would probably be the bass. We'll come back to that hi-hat in a minute. Uh, this bass part. Now when I'm gain staging a sound, I want to find basically where the loudest parts of that sound are coming in because I want to know exactly what the signal level is going to the mixer at that point. And in this case, it looks like this is actually pretty even. So I'm just gonna make a little a loop here. You can see right there at that beginning, of this transient right here, it gets a little louder, but I'm interested in the average of this basically. So on this track, let's place a VU meter. I'm gonna drag this over here while we talk about the meters in Luna. In most DAWs, you'll have a track here and a, uh, a meter that comes up and shows you a level. And you can see on this meter here, it's peaking at about 12. Now that's a peak level and that's not an average. A peak level is, uh, it's, it's a measurement taken every millisecond almost where it's showing you what the level is at that specific time. A VU meter is a, it stands for volume unit and it's actually sort of a, an average. People will tell you that a VU meter uh, kind of shows you in a physical form how your ear hears and it's an average level. So really I want to look at the average level of this. Also I'm going to come over here to the settings tab and I'm going to put the metering display on pre-fader. Pre-fader means that the meter in Luna is going to show me the same peak meter level no matter where my fader is. So even if I had already mixed this down a little or something it will show me the same thing. Even if it's off, it will show me the level. And that's a good thing to have. So now I have a visual of the peak and the average of that sound. 
So let's play it and let's see where this lands on, on here. By the way, this VU meter is calibrated to negative 18 dBFS. Negative 18 dBFS, is a, that is a measurement in digital sound that is called full scale. An easy way to think about full scale value in digital recordings is that it, once you hit zero, that's the top of the signal that can be uh, reproduced without clipping and terrible distortion sounds. In analog equipment, which usually has a VU meter on it, there is a ceiling that's above zero. So you'll see the uh, measurements of things being, uh, you know, zero dB VU or zero dB FS, which is full scale. There's two different things. So this is being measured against the digital signal, which is measured in full scale. And so to do that, I have calibrated this to negative 18, which is about where a digital uh, full scale zero is on a VU meter. Okay, good thing to think about. So on this particular signal, when I hit play, we're going to see where this VU meter heads up to. You can see where that's hovering, it's averaging in this area, but it's peaking way up too high where I want that signal to be. Most of the time in a uh, recording, I want to quote unquote gain stage a signal to be zero dB VU, which would be about negative 18 dB FS. So to do that, I'm gonna take this track here, I'm gonna grab the clip gain slider here and I'm gonna pull this down until these average around this zero, even at the high parts. That's totally cool right there. You see how it's averaging. It's coming down to around, you know, sometimes it'll come down to negative five and sometimes it might jump up to 2 or 2.5. That's totally cool. That's giving me a gain stage right at the mixer or the console portion of this mix. The signal will then follow out of that channel into the sub mix, in my case this bass sub right here, and that's the level of signal that's going to be sent to there now, and this signal here is going to go to the main, which will feed out that same level. If you notice when I pull down that fader on the main, I still have a meter showing me how much signal is being sent to it. That's because I'm in pre-fader metering mode. Okay, that's one gain stage of that specific channel. Now when we gain stage a mix, usually what we'll do is we'll go through each channel and find what the level being sent to its sub path or the main mix. Uh, what that level is and make sure that it is within that negative 18 area. Okay, now that we have this particular track properly gain staged as it's coming into the, the mixer, what we can do is, uh, in this particular case in Luna, is we can add a tape extension. I'll add the Oxide because it's the one that comes with it free. And we can watch this VU meter here, and this is actually an output meter. So the signal I knew coming in was properly gain staged. But now let's look at the output version of this. So I, in other words, I know that the signal going into this tape machine is properly gain staged, but let's look at the output of it now. It's probably gonna get a little bit hot here in a second. Yep, right there. I haven't changed anything about the gain stage here. So now let's look at the VU meter following the tape machine because we've introduced a new stage of, of gain, whether I can add or subtract it. That's a gain stage where I just added it in. So now let's look at the stage here, the meter, and see what's going on. It's higher.
come into the plugin if it has an output and I can pull down the output of that there, or I can uh, put in a trim plugin for the next plugin in the stage, or I can leave it there and, uh, you know, hope it doesn't blast anything out, you know. However, I do want to be sure that whatever is sending out of this channel to the bus is about the same level. So I'm going to be careful of that, okay? So when I watch this signal come, I'm gonna pretend that the input's here, right? The input's here, it's coming into the tape machine, it's coming next to the VU meter, and then what follows that, I'm going to be very careful about. Okay, so let's say I add a, a compressor next. A, a good example of this would be like the LA-2A. I'll use the one that comes with the Apollos. All right, let's take a look at this. It's going to add some gain, by the way. That's just the way they do. Uh, they do that in the hardware too, but I wish they would default to a little bit lower. Let's, uh, let's add some compression and see what happens. Cool. If I put another VU meter behind that, by the way, this is total overkill, and I'm going to show you how not to have to do this in a second. We can watch the level coming out of that stage of the gain into the following part. I can pull that gain up. Right. Now, that's what I would consider a little bit of overkill on gain staging because the way I would prefer to do that, I'm going to get rid of this VU meter, is when you put in a compressor or EQ or anything that's going to change the overall level of sound, we have these bypass switches or power switches. And what I prefer to do is listen to the sound. I'm going to pull this down here and pull this down, and then we're going to match it with, with our ears. I'm going to start to put some gain reduction on this. And I'm going to turn this on and off and check the volume and see if it's about in the same place. Okay, that's louder. So I need more. That's about right. And so that's how you actually gain stage on a console's channel. That's the way you do it in hardware. That's the way I do it in uh, any DAW, Pro Tools, Logic, Luna, Cubase, whatever. It doesn't matter. The signal level is staying basically the same from the top to the bottom. And it's being fed to the sub and it's being fed to the main at the same level. We can watch this on the VU meter of the uh, Neve summing as well. If I turn this on. There's a little bit of difference there because of the gain reduction of this uh, compressor. But it's also important to know that I can change this uh, VU meter's reading by moving this fader here. So now we've introduced another stage where we have a different gain. We have the input, we have the tape, we have these uh, effects here. We now have the fader, which will be feeding the Neve summing. The Neve Summing also has a trim that I can turn down in order to keep the level at this portion of the gain structure the same. So if I were to pull this way up in the mix, I can change the gain structure using that right there. Or if I need more, I can always add in another type of gain plugin here. A, a good one to use for this, by the way, if, if you have the VUMT uh, Deluxe, it actually has a trim on it that does pretty a pretty clean 
uh, trim of the volume on the uh, or the gain on the output of it. Let me link these two channels. This all has a cumulative effect downstream, and what that's what gain staging is really all about. It's starting here on the channel, through the bus, to the main, so that the main is not being blown completely out of proportion as we start mixing. This is something to keep in mind as you're going along in a mix. Keep going back to the main. Check out what's going on on the level over there, because it's important especially if you have inserts on the main out over here. And you need to be careful about the signal hitting those, if they're a tape or, or a um, some sort of hardware emulation, which most of the UAD stuff is. One thing that most of them have, though, and I'll show you right here, uh, I prefer to use the Studer tape most of the time, even though the oxide is really cool. The Studer tape will allow you to attenuate the input and output if you open up right here we can do that here so if I have the signal again I know that it was properly gain staged at the beginning then I put the tape on and we're gonna see what happens with the the view here okay I'm gonna pull this down I'm gonna unlink these right fast by the way this is an output uh, meter Cool. Easy as that. The oxide does not have this function, and so you you need to uh, be careful what comes after it. That's it. That's gain staging in Universal Audio's Luna and any other DAW. Just remember signal flow. Input, effects, channel, subs, and main. Thanks so much for watching. More videos coming very soon.